For now, we're going to send it back to Chrissy and Nicole. Chrissy and Nicole, did you know the average Canadian has three shovels? How many do you guys have? Ooh. Ooh. I have one because we I have a landlord, so mm. she has to do it. I cheat <laughs> even further. My in-laws were super sweet and got us a snowblower this Christmas. Oh, So we're cheating. Nice. But very we do nice. a bunch of the neighbors you as need well. It with you need these winters in Canada. All right, Canada, for you, these are the top stories. Most of the country seeing some snow. Temperature records of the good kind for some. And we do have extreme cold making a comeback. Blanketing Ontario, the prairies. I know. It's a pretty big nightmare and a really interesting story out of City Hall in Toronto. They had a burst pipe and it impacted the chapel. So couples, can you imagine having your wedding all set and sore? They've been able to accommodate, but still would be a bit of a freak out. That's <laughs> probably good luck, as they say, when bad things happen yeah. on your wedding day. So through tonight, we're going to see snow picking up in Ottawa and Montreal. But yeah, this morning across the greater Toronto area, especially east, about two centimeters. Doesn't sound like much, but it's just coming down right now pretty hard and very quickly along that cold front, Chrissy, which also ushers in the cold air tonight. Yes, it certainly will. We're going to see the winds gusting at around 20 to 40 kilometers per hour. So that is going to make for a nasty situation with the wind chill. Look <laughs> this, the big snow snowball fight. I oh, love that one. You said there was a, a snowball fight club. Yes, so they actually orchestrate it through Facebook, which I thought was pretty neat. Now, Very nice. coming up in the show, we do want to touch across the country here. We're going to talk that snow that you're seeing in the Avalon as well as more on the way. Mm -hmm. We'll continue to dive into the diving temperatures and the surface low moving through Ontario. And don't forget you in the West with your warm and mild conditions with a mix of sun and cloud. Let's face it, we... Uh, have to scrape off the vehicles and as we learned last time we joined you Kelly you can never have too many shovels but what else should we have on hand well there you go it's frozen outside it looks like our own Kelly knows where they froze in there so we'll check in with her shortly no doubt I mean this type of weather equipment issues do happen when you have wind chills of feeling like minus 17 feeling like minus 20 in London but that's just a preview of what's to come. We have a cold front swinging through. So Thursday morning, look at all these wind chills feeling like the minus 30s. Do plan ahead, especially if the little ones are going out to catch a bus because, you know, anyone that's vulnerable to the cold, that's dangerously cold. Looking by Thursday night, we are dealing with a surface low that's moving through less than two centimeters for the GTA. But there could be a little bit of lake enhancement along Lake Ontario and into Quebec. You're looking at two to five centimeters for Montreal. This is the surface low and this is what's in behind. The cold front moves through, plummeting our temperatures into Thursday. We're going to see some gustier winds as well, particularly along the shorelines, 20 to 40 kilometers per hour. Of course, out east, incredible footage. I encourage you, hashtag ATL storm or visit at Weather Network and see some of the pictures that have been coming out of this. I mean, right now, the snow on the ground, Charlottetown, you have 110 centimeters. These are just some of the observations. I'm sure in some of the snow drifts that you've measured, even more impressive amounts than that. More snow to come. The Avalon Peninsula has been dealing with snowfall through the morning hours. We have a system moving in overnight in through your Thursday, bringing another 5 to 10 through Avalon, in through central Newfoundland and heavier amounts in New Brunswick as well. But it's been awfully cold as well. Thanks, Norm for that video feeling like minus 38 in Saskatoon feeling like minus 37 in Winnipeg and I just had a gentleman tweet me and saying I checked my weather network app I saw minus 38 and I went bad back to bed good call different story in southern Alberta we do have some warmer air funneling in with down sloping winds and then Nanaimo starting the day at seven Abbotsford you're starting the day at six so pretty much the jealousy of many in the east we are looking through Thursday though a bit of snow making its way in through southwestern Saskatchewan and Edmonton you could be dealing with some periods of freezing rain. More details coming up. You know what a lot of people have been doing, Nicole, with all this snowfall? Jumping off their roofs, jumping yes. out of their windows into mm -hmm. the snow. And this has been a big problem in Boston. The mayor is actually advising people, stop doing it because... I mean, one of them's not going to end well. Exactly. And that image right there was actually someone tobogganing down their roof. I was just trying to make a joke of it. Now, <laughs> through to Thursday, we are going to see more snow. Uh, yesterday, this looked a little bit more intense than what is actually happening. Uh, we've got 5 to 10 centimeters through St. John's. And then across uh, the Maritime Provinces, this looks to be up to 5 centimeters. Yeah, I think a big relief for many. But I 
know coming up in the show, we're going to be talking about another system that has yep. potential to pack a punch. Mm -hmm. So details on that later. But looking in through Ontario into Quebec, we've been dealing with basically a little coating of snow in the morning right. hours through the southern GTA. And as we know, it doesn't take much to make an impact for the no, drive. No, exactly. And sort of east of Toronto is where the bands are pretty heavy for you this morning towards uh, uh, Kingston and then into tomorrow night. We'll see a little bit more north of Ottawa. And of course, active weather mm -hmm. hasn't been a huge story in the West, but we do have to watch uh, just as we head in through the overnight into the pre-dawn hours tomorrow, some freezing rain potential. Edmonton, that includes you. I know yesterday they were dealing yes. with freezing fog and now another maybe tricky commute. Exactly. So that's through the overnight, but then notice in the white, that's just going to remain as snow. Uh, cold enough for that. And speaking of cold, quite a contrast across the country. We've got the warm air through the uh, West, but the temperature is diving down even more as we head into the next couple of days. And even City Hall, people had to maneuver their weddings all due to this extreme wind chills. We're going to have more details on the cold and the systems on the way for Atlantic Canada coming up. Yes. Winter can kind of get a little bit extreme and sometimes you're tired of it, but at least you can still have a bit of fun. Yeah, snowball fight, bring you back to your memories of youth. <laughs> Top stories for you in Canada today. Most of the country seeing some snow. We've got temperature records of the good kind. Guess where that is? An extreme cold makes a comeback. Yeah, it seems like it's never ending with the frigid chills. Yes. Snow as well, especially as we head through the eastern parts of the country. The Avalon has been dealing with snow mm -hmm. more on the way with the new system through Ontario as well. A weak surface low has been spawning some activity, making That's it a bit right. greasy. And we will see some rain this afternoon in Abbotsford, uh, Vancouver as well, under three millimeters, if anything, and overall still uh, above average or seasonably warm. There's that snow, Chrissy, uh, just shifted uh, east towards Pickering, Oshawa. It extends towards Kingston as well. So look at that along the 401. It's just coming down really quickly, so it just could reduce visibility on the roadways. <coughs> Let's check in with Kelly Noseworthy right now, and I know that you're going to talk all about shovels. <laughs> All right. Pretty cool. And you know what? With her talking about the shovel there, I know that uh, doing traffic before, I've seen people shoveling on the on and off ramps in right. the past. So it's Because you good can't to have. get off sometimes. So have it in the car just in case. There is not much snow coming through today in Ontario. But again, if it comes down really quickly, it is going to cause problems in places like Ottawa and Montreal this evening. Extreme cold, Chrissy. Anything in purple, Ontario, up towards the Prairie Provinces. Yeah, I actually had a tweet from a gentleman in Winnipeg who said, I looked at my app. It said it felt like minus 38 and I've gone back to bed. <laughs> All right. That sounds like a good idea to me. This evening, we're going to see uh, some freezing rain pushing into Edmonton. This is an hours upon hours of freezing rain. It's just a quick shot through the overnight. And in the white, it's just the dividing line between the warm air and the cold air. I feel like my stomach would have dropped on that. Now, yes. I mean, in that situation, all fun and games. Do you want to mention, though, the mayor of Boston actually encouraging residents to stop doing that? Because yes. uh, people are actually jumping out their two-story windows. Exactly. So it's not so safe. And there is more snow coming in the east. A blanket of a about under five across the maritime provinces, a bit more for the Avalon Peninsula. Winds aren't too bad this round, but for the weekend, which we'll talk about coming up in the next couple of days, it looks like another storm for Atlantic Canada. You don't need a gym membership, you just need nor'easters. Chrissy Van joining you, and we're going to take a look at social media. Some of the amazing pictures coming out of this nor'easter, Prince Edward Island. Look at these snow banks on either side. Of course, in Ontario, we'll be talking the cold, which has caused multiple water main breaks. And speaking of ice and cold, they've actually started ice breaking in the Red River in Manitoba. So that's a sign that spring not too far away. But of course, it's been looking like nothing but in BC. Now, winter, we have joyous moments, but it can also make Make scary situations out on the roads. Don't miss this. As we look across the country, a big battle from west to east when it comes to temperatures. In Vancouver, above seasonal at 11 degrees. The further east we travel, though, the colder it gets and the more it'll have you thinking of going south. Minus 18 in Regina, minus 21 in Winnipeg. Stays cold right out to the east, minus 4 in St. John's. Hello, Bahamas. Plenty of sunshine. NASA, you're 22 degrees, a fabulous cruise port, and you'll be 20 degrees in Freeport. So enjoy the sand and sun. Frozen pipes, a massive problem, and that's all due to the deep freeze. How long will that last? Well, details on that in a moment. But first, I do want to show you on the live radar here. We still have snow that's been moving through the QEW through Vineland and then east of the GTA along the 401. Do be cautious because that's a tricky travel on the best of days. Now, Kelly Noseworthy has been in King City throughout the morning, giving us some amazing tips to get through these final weeks of winter. 
Oh, uh, well, I'm a little spoiled now this year. Thank you to my in-laws that uh, hooked us up with a snowblower. I wish, though, that it was more uh, a heater that I could take around with me because we are looking at significant wind chills in Toronto, feeling like minus 17 this morning, feeling like minus 20 in London, and a whole different beast by Thursday morning. Cold front swings through, and that means many of us feeling the wind chill like the minus 30s. Talking about that snow that I showed you in the radar, what do we expect? Well, not a massive impact. This surface low generating less than two centimeters in southern Ontario. We could see a little bit of lake enhancement, but the higher amounts through Quebec, Montreal, two to five centimeters. We travel now to the cold front. This is why that surface low moves out, cold air in behind, and we're going to see those winds increase, particularly along the shorelines around 20 to 40 kilometers per hour. Now, Winnipeg this afternoon, minus 21 is your temperature temperature, adding a wind chill to that as well. And I actually had a gentleman tweet me saying, hey, it feels like minus 38 this morning. I'm going back to bed. It's dangerously cold. Extreme cold warnings extend through northern Ontario, Manitoba, right into northern Saskatchewan. So if you are in those highlighted areas, be very cautious because frostbite can set in very quickly. Through Thursday, as we head through the prairies, as well through Alberta, we do have a little bit of snow on the way, two to five centimeters for Saskatoon. Not this much snow though. In Summerside there was a couple that had to dig a 25 foot tunnel just to get to their car so it's been a pretty impressive situation here and that's because in Charlottetown we're looking at 110 centimeters on the ground currently frozen pipes, burst pipes, so a bit of a nasty deal. Uh, we still have more winter to go, Kelly, so I know we need a plethora of shovels on board, but what other winter tools are you checking out today? Oh, it sure does. Really nifty. I find even the name, the D4, sounds like a pretty cool shovel. Pretty cool is exactly what it feels like, though, this morning in Toronto. Minus 17 with the wind chill, and it gets worse as we head through tomorrow morning with wind chills in the minus 30. So if you're sending the little ones out to school, be sure to have them nice and bundled up. Through your drive in the morning hours, and even later on today, some greasy conditions on the road with a light dusting of snow due to a surface low. Higher amounts further east, Montreal all Quebec, you're looking at that two to five centimeters. Afterwards, cold air floods in with this cold front, so overnight temperatures dipping down to frigid conditions with wind gusts getting to 20 to 40 kilometers an hour, so it's going to make it feel even colder. Now, in Boston, of course, they have had record amounts of snow, so we had this article at theweathernetwork.com. Basically, the Boston mayor encouraging people to not jump off their roofs into the snow. Perhaps you should try this instead. Jump and around into the snow in front of his door. Now, that gentleman had an advantage because a lot of the photos on Twitter, if you use hashtag ATL storm, you'll see people couldn't even see out their doors. That's because snow on the ground, Charlottetown, 110 centimeters, Halifax, 72. So we have some impressive observations there and more snow on the way. The Avalon has been seeing snow through the morning, overnight in through Thursday, more to come. Five to 10 centimeters through the Avalon, central Newfoundland, less than five for most of Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. And of of course, things have been clear but cold. Saskatoon feeling like minus 38. Winnipeg feeling like minus 37. I actually had a tweet sent out from a gentleman that said, I looked at my app in Winnipeg, saw it felt like minus 38 decided to go back to bed. Wise deal or maybe you should head west where we do have some warmer conditions in southern Alberta due to downsloping winds. Six degrees in Abbotsford, seven in Nanaimo. So enjoy your above seasonal conditions. As we look across the country, a big battle from west to east when it comes to temperatures. In Vancouver, above seasonal at 11 degrees. The further east we travel, though, the colder it gets and the more it'll have you thinking of going south. Minus 18 in Regina, minus 21 in Winnipeg. Stays cold right out to the east, minus 4 in St. John's. Hello, Bahamas. Plenty of sunshine. NASA, you're 22 degrees, a fabulous cruise port, and you'll be 20 degrees in Freeport. So enjoy the sand and sun.